don't worry. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> Whoa. Cool thing about boats like this is that you have ultimate control. Oh, they put the control on the right. I hate the control on the right. Because what? It doesn't matter. Because we're going to go left now. Okay. I don't like that sound. <laughs> this boat has that gator shell thing, which makes it stronger. Actually, I mean, this, this thing feels good. Like everything, like when they when they came up with the Bote Lono last year, it was like first product and first idea. And you know, those things never work out, but they have time to think about it and work on it. And this thing is cool. Like this is something I would like to own. Kind of like a paddle board with a drive. Uh, was it Hobie that came up with that idea? Like two, a year ago or so with the links? And now everybody else is having their own version, which is pretty cool, man. The cool thing about a paddleboard like this is it's nice it's something different if you don't want to use the drive you could just remove the drive and, and use it like a paddleboard like if let's say you want to have a drive on, on your paddleboard but you don't want to kayak there you go there you have it the solid solid thing right here feels good i feel the blade touching the hole and this is probably because a lot of people have used this it's not set up properly so i'm not gonna give it any like i'm not gonna give it any neg any uh what is it bad rap for that because again it, people may have been using this on the water things may be a little loose and it's all about adjust this feels good dude feels good being hands-free on a paddleboard <laughs> super cool stuff man seriously um i think of <laughs> Filming this shows your uh, iCast and a, a way of making my setup easier and all that stuff. And to end up like this <laughs> with a really short angle on my face, and dude, and, and whatever. Hope you guys like the videos. I'm gonna try to make them as interesting as possible. And yeah, this is nice. Okay, so we gotta stand up and we gotta treat this thing like a stand-up paddleboard so let's do that let me see where i could put my camera maybe i could just clamp it here and do this let's remove the paddle right here and stand up cool man uh this thing has to be adjusted it's loose I don't remember how to paddle board. All right guys, so one of the amazing things that we have with this type of boat, with this drive, is the ability to go in reverse. I'm going in reverse, guys. And I'm not doing anything. And it goes in reverse nicely. I could see a difference between the type of hole this boat is, of course, solid, it's rigid, so it's more efficient in the water. And it's also faster going forward. Like, you see that? Pues nos encontramos con una gran personalidad que ya la vieron. Aquí está. Todos, que, <laughs> todos los amigos de México saben quién es Alex Folgueira. Qué gusto verte hoy. Igual, well, gracias, man. Oh, awesome. Woo -hoo. <laughs> dime, dime, dime el nombre de tu canal. Tengo dos, el de la tienda que es kayaks para pesca en México, que es para business, y tengo el personal que es Marín Kayak Angler en todo México. Ahí subimos videos y todo y te seguimos a ti, Ale. Gracias, man. I'm gonna go forward now, and I want to see how well it turns. Dude, on the spot, man. On the spot. Very, very good paddleboard kayak. Very nice, way better than that Bote Lone over there. This is cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. 100% cool stuff. I think, how much is this? Checked out like that, uh, $24.60. So with the drive, $24.60. And the board alone, how much does it weight? The weight on the board alone, here's about 40 pounds. 40 pounds. So yeah, instead of lifting a $140, 140 pound kayak, 